New York is home to many artists, new and established. Today we're meeting with two pioneers who are hoping to give a voice to new artists here in the New York community. In New York, there's no shortage of talent. Everyone is looking to find ways to stand out from the crowd. Wulong Whatever is an artist community that launched in the city in 2013. Today we're meeting with its organizer, Nelson Lowe, and artist, Shua Huang, and their creative journey in the Big Apple. And the mission of Whatever is to promote young talent artists and designers um, everywhere in the world, because um, we found there is a lot of talented people that not um, got recognized in the, in the market. Well, me myself is an um, independent filmmaker based in New York City. That was a pretty cool idea. So whenever, like for example, me being as an artist, I can show uh, my voice or my project, my work through this platform to more people. And uh, potentially I will have like uh, more chances to create other stuff or work with other Artist or designer. Both Nelson and Shaw were educated in China, the UK, and the US. Let's find out why they dedicated to put their roots down in New York City. Oh, why don't we use our resources here, our networks? and to um, let people know about what's happening in New York. It's because New York is really vibrant and not everyone has this chance to experience. Um, so that's how we started. I like New York City a lot though because it's so acceptable. No matter what, how, um, how new, how outstanding, how maybe you can say how strange your work is, you can always find your own audience in here and in here it feels like everybody knows about art everybody speaks about art and most of them are actually work their works get involved with designing or art kind of uh, uh, kind of a career surviving New York City is never an easy task whether you're an organizer or an artist there's always many challenges to making it in the city that never sleeps Okay, it's good to build this platform, and, but what's next to help them to more achieve um, their goal and more, maybe even um, business opportunity? That surviving is probably the only problem that we're having right now, and that's the biggest challenge. And here, creativity is definitely not a problem because, as what I said, you literally can do whatever you want in here. That's your freedom. The only thing is that it's so compatible because everyone from different countries are gathering in this such a small city. There's a lot of funding for different area in art or design or even in filmmaking. The only problem is you have to, to find a way and have to make sure you're, you're good, you're in that level to achieve that support. Lots of artists are working individually in the city. Being part of a community helps them make new connections and get inspiration from others. School teach us to work by ourselves and um, only think about your own identity. But after we graduated, we go into society, we found that um, we should help each other. We should share our own resources to, you know, to, uh, to maximize the outcome. And I think the platform can, can has this function. Because of we're from different background, for me, I used to study programming and I switched into uh, filmmaking. And you feel challenged and you always can see the like, new sparkles but when we talk with different designers, artists. It will give you new ideas about how to make a new project or to express something in a brand new way. Over the course of one year, Whatever has expanded across the U.S. and to Europe. It's attracted many participants and followers, with the numbers increasing daily. Oh my god, it's really like, excited. I think like, Sha also like, feel that you, when you see the audience, the number of audiences really growing. Uh, we were just talking about like, how it grows in percentage. 
and what contents, what title links to the growth. You really keep learning because it's, it's totally new and a lot of uncertainty in front of us. Talking about the future, we hope that we can really expand our, our, uh, our mission, our service to tap into more like um, bigger, bigger artist field and designers opportunities. This is the city that gives you hope and keep pushing you going and that's all I can do right now. It's never too old to learn and it's never too late to follow your dream. In the city full of possibility, having a community like whatever helps artists come together and have more power to stand out. This is Christy Clements reporting from New York City.